Well, unlike many Republican lawmakers, Tennessee Senator Lamar Alexander says climate change is real, and he believes the U.S. must do something about it. So he came up with his own 10-point plan. Drew Petromo has reaction. People are dying. This is a picture of Aquaman. On Capitol Hill, the debate was over the top. The indispensable documentary film, Sharknado 4. Republicans attacked the Green New Deal, a Democratic roadmap to remake the American economy, reduce carbon emissions, and prevent the worst effects of climate change. But after much political theater, a resolution supporting the proposal was resoundingly defeated by the U.S. Senate. I thought it presented an opportunity. Republican Senator Lamar Alexander is no fan of the Green New Deal. It's so radical, so far left. But he does believe climate change is a serious problem. Most of the scientists, almost all of them, say humans are a major cause of it. So the question is, what to do about it. Alexander is proposing a 10-point plan to address climate change over the next five years. Doubling energy research, building advanced reactors, better batteries, greener buildings, electric cars. The investments that Senator Alexander is talking about certainly should be a part of any comprehensive bipartisan solution. Elizabeth Gore with the Environmental Defense Fund was disappointed by this week's debate but she's encouraged by Alexander's proposal. We need members of Congress from both sides of the aisle to come to the table to put their best ideas forward. Alexander's plan is much less ambitious than the Green New Deal, but it does contain some similarities. And he might have better luck getting it through Congress. He's chairman of the subcommittee that funds energy research. In Washington, I'm Drew Petromo.